Metro City, a well-known crime capital, has been ruled by violence and death for many years. A fact which the newly elected mayor and former street fighter, Mike Hagar, plans to change. At the center of the problem is the huge gang known as Mad Gear. Mad Gear controls all of the major cr criminal activities yeah, in the city. <laughs> when they learned of Hagar's plans, they took immediate action to bring this new mayor under their control in 1989. <laughs> hey everybody, it's POD7. Oh, we're still going. Hello, Mike Hagar here. <laughs> Mr. Hagar, pl so pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm not going to read all this. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Hunt for Gems. Uh, as you might be able to tell, we are uh, in for a treat, I think, today. Uh, except I can't skip this cutscene to reveal the name of the game. What? What's happened to Jessica? Who is this? It's Poison Daddy. <laughs> oh, I hope Poison's in this game. Outside of Hagar, she's probably the most uh, iconic uh, character from Final Fight, if I'm... Oh god, I've put myself in a world of trouble now, I'm not even sure. Yeah, it's gotta be, because this is a Capcom beat-em-up. Yeah, Capcom presents... Bimmy and Jimmy, in... Okay, that double dragon joke was supposed to, you know, speed things along here. <laughs> Final fight one. So we're going to see how this uh, translates to the Game Boy Advance. A guy, a Cody, Guy, Hagar, and Cody. <laughs> uh, hello? Okay, I guess we're going into the demo. What is going on here? Apparently I don't have my start button mapped. That's kind of strange. And now all of a sudden I can't... What? Okay, hold on a second, guys. Okay, sorry about that. Um... <laughs> oh, very easy. Oh, well. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'll try it on normal for a little bit, but I'm not very good at beat em ups. Um, so LB, okay. A is jump, B is attack. That's all I need to remember. Okay. Let's do this. Game start. Oh, we gotta be Hagar. <laughs> oh snap. I know you're supposed to like crowd up enemies, but oh German suplex. Um I get kind of impatient. Ooh. There we go. I knew about that stuff. Oh, <laughs> what? Okay, so I'm getting my butt kicked, obviously. Uh, it seems like a fairly good representation of the game. So far. Ooh. <laughs> this is the weirdest punch ever. And now we go down into the sewers. Boom! 
Now that's an entrance. Well, oh, okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, come on. I wish I could remember all these people's names. We had an arcade cabinet of this at my uh, local bowling alley back in the day. Oh, dang it. Oh, <laughs> jumping pile driver. There we go. Jump away! <laughs> there we go. He died. Was it boss time? Oh, dang it. Okay, so... It's going okay so far, I think. Oh, except for that. Of course, I am Hagar, so... Oh, boss fight time. You're the one who called me. Yes. Bingo, baby. Damned? Is that his name? Really? I guess that kind of fits. German. Oh, they did change poison a little bit, I think. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be poison. But they, like, changed him into a man. Like, a full-blown man, not just trans man. Oh, oh gosh, yeah, because I recognize those kicks. Well, their own fire breather guy screwed them over there. <laughs> German. <laughs> All right. So it's a fairly uh, decent adaptation. Uh, I would guess that there's probably versions of this on Virtual Console and PlayStation Network, uh, and probably Xbox Live too that uh, are way better <laughs> because I've played the X-Men arcade game on there and it was pretty much arcade perfect. Um, oh gosh. Elgato. Oh. Well, there's a continue screen. Oh no. So I was doing pretty good on normal and I suck at beat em ups. So if you're pretty decent at them, uh, this might be a little bit too easy for you. But if you're like me and you just enjoy beat em ups for what they are and not uh, feel like you need to have skill or you don't really want to play them long enough to practice, you just have fun beating stuff up, uh, you might give it a shot. Um, Let's enter our name in, shall we? Pods. And. Hey! Okay, so uh, this is a little bit shorter episode, but um, that's how they're gonna. That's kind of how I envisioned Hunt for Gems to be. And it just kind of got out of hand the last couple episodes. So, uh, oh, this was published, I guess, by Ubisoft. That's kind of strange. Um, but anyway, this has been POD7, and I'm signing out.
Thank you.